Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. This week, we've got some great closures for you. Stay tuned for this week's Most Wanted. On the last Most Wanted show, I closed the program telling you about some exciting news about a recent capture. On April the 14th, 2014, a suspect walked into the Bank of America in Stevensville and showed the teller a note demanding money. We posted photos of the suspect. Within an hour, we had tips. There was no doubt the suspect was wearing a wig as part of the disguise, but there was a lot of speculation that the suspect could be a man dressed as a female. Detectives and crime scene personnel scoured the inside and outside of the bank, and soon a witness reported a suspicious car that had been seen nearby. Several pieces of trash were collected and after several months of testing through DNA, a suspect was developed. Further investigation led detectives to North Carolina, where Athena Lou Yancey, 32 of Virginia Beach, Virginia, was recently arrested during a bank robbery, very similar to the one that occurred here. She has since been charged with the second bank robbery in North Carolina. Her accomplice in the Stevensville robbery appears to be different than her getaway driver in North Carolina, who was also arrested. I'm confident that our detectives will identify him and charge him as well. Hi, I'm Detective Chase Armington of the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff. The Criminal Investigations Unit has been very busy investigating a shooting that occurred in January in Graysonville, and as a result, two persons have been taken into custody, Angelo Palumbo Jr. and Emmanuel Roldan Cruz. And warrants have been issued for a third person, Carlos Antoine Upchurch, 42 years of age of Dundalk, Maryland. Upchurch is charged with numerous counts, including attempted first-degree murder, assaults, and firearm charges. Great job, Chase. I know you guys have been very busy back in criminal investigations. And is there a message that you want to send to anybody in our county who decides to do a crime like this? I wouldn't pick this county. Jonah Laura Heimvik is wanted on a circuit court violation of probation warrant issued last May on a driving under the influence conviction after she was charged with 14 new traffic citations to include another driving while impaired. The warrant lists her address as Charles Drive in Easton. We have another address in Olney, Maryland, but investigation has now led us to the Millsboro, Delaware area. She's a 61-year-old white female, five foot four inches tall, 125 pounds, blonde hair. She may be driving a 2003 BMW two-door sedan. If you have any information or tips on her whereabouts, please contact our office. Remember, you can do that by phone call or an anonymous tip. On January the 28th, 2015, a burglar cut through the roof of the GNC store located at the Thompson Creek Shopping Center and went through the wall to Thompson Creek Liquors. A small amount of cash was taken along with some liquor and cigarettes. Damages were extremely extensive and estimated to be at $20,000. Intelligence bulletins had been sent out about a series of rooftop burglaries. These were occurring on the western shore. Detectives contacted several agencies there. Recently, in Prince George's County, the suspect was caught during a burglary of a shop and save store in Oxon Hill, where entry was gained through the roof. Search warrants of the suspect car and his residence have tied him to the burglaries here at Thompson Creek, as well as several other burglaries on the western shore. His additional burglaries incurred western shore burglaries and some areas of Delaware. Detainers are now on file for Thomas Kevin Jenkins, 49, of Capitol Heights, who is currently incarcerated in Prince George's County. After failing to appear in court on February 27th on theft and forgery charges, a circuit court bench warrant was issued for Santos Pedro Baltazar. Baltazar is 44-year-old Hispanic male, 5 foot 9 inches tall, 140 pounds. His last known address is Wheeler Drive in Greensboro. Our records show he was working as a concrete worker in the Henderson, Maryland area. If you have any information on his whereabouts, send us that tip. Wanted on two circuit court warrants for failing to appear for her violation of probation hearing on January 23, 2015, is Amanda Lynn Strade, who was last known to be living in the Chester area. Strade's original charges include theft, assault, controlled dangerous substance violations, She's a white female, 27 years old, 5 foot 6 inches tall, 115 pounds. 
Now we're seeking your help in identifying this burglar. On March 11th at APO's Pizzeria on Churchill Road near Chestertown, this was burglarized overnight by this suspect. Entry was made by shattering the front door and a small amount of change was taken. The burglary occurred just before 1 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Take a really good look at the night vision photos as they appear to be really poor quality. But we have closed cases before using worse photos than this. So maybe your clue could be the one that helps break this case. I want to remind everyone about our Transaction Safe Place program. In the news, once again, recently was a Craigslist related assault where a woman attacked a pregnant lady looking for baby clothes. It was tragic that the unborn child died and the woman was seriously injured. Don't let this happen to you. Please use our Sheriff's Office for your transactions so that you can remain safe. Don't let this happen to you. Please take the time to use our Sheriff's Office as your location to have these transactions done.